We're broadcasting from b and Spring Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. There's some history behind this team, Bricks. 23 years ago, the original Leveland Burns snuck out of Leveland, leaving their fans heartbroken. They relocated to Baltimore and renamed themselves the Razors. But they were based in Leveland, Grim. I can completely understand the move. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle. The Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. <laughs> You just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. Oh, and he breaks free and has no keep an open field in front of him. He's at the 20. The 10. And that's a touchdown. Man, once he saw daylight, he was gone. The kickoff team didn't even know what hit him. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! Sam, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chimp wearing a wig. Gorgeous kick. Better ensure that leg, who knows how long he'll keep it. Yes, I did. Nice. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. Second down and more than the QB would like. He had it for a second there. down in 
Well, good luck. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. Wow, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He scores! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> a fake kick! This is gonna ruin my fake team's fake score! Yeah. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. Touchdown! I don't know if you're aware of this, but for every touchdown he scores, he drinks the blood of his enemies and donates a thousand dollars to a local children's hospital. What a player! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And this guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. Remember that time in Cabo? And it's first and ten. And we're at the two-minute warning. And that'll be second and eight to go. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. And then he charged the ball loose, and it's a fumble! That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. <laughs> well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And he got a hold of that one. First and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Yeah, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Good 
run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down in a very long. I won. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down in forever. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means he can wrap up the other half and save it for later. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. formation to try to conserve time. The defender says, I don't think so. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. Quarterback finds his man for the first down. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Lock and load. We're back from the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. What a game is this close as the score indicates. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And this guy is one of the best shit kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Touchdown! That's an awesome punt return for the score! Ah, that's not fair! Someone should call a penalty on this ref! Yeah, the dead penalty. Hang them by the nuts. Defense says enough 
going for this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. This quarter... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. in your nostril hairs once and for all. Football is a team sport, and that's why you should never think about mine unless it's that kind. Oh, that was nasty. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a harder than that and that is unfortunate and it's first and ten look out that's an all-out attack on the qb if this guy could talk before he died what do you think he'd be saying bricks psycho killer just to say what the fuck 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 yeah First down and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. You know, before this guy was in the Mutant Football League, I believe he was in uh, the Human League. Why did he leave? And, uh, they didn't want him. <laughs> point attempt. It's a fake kick. And that's a good by the numbers throw. And those numbers add up to two. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's 
First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. Ninja, bottle out the nose, don't you think? Get short of this hole. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. since they can't rest their players. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second and three. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. It looks like... He's not just Welcome to Football Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. And a hard run there picks up the first down. Changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Can I kill him? And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And that's why he's a defense schmuck. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Hot two. for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and six. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown to change the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Glenn? Aren't we all? Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. Run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brett's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gun. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And they put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim. You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here.
Hoosiers win the game in their own backyard. Now the neighbors can quick a plan and join the party. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, that I have a tell well, you about Well, let's listen to the MVP. Time. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. I'm a Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other time.